Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool speed flash transition effect. It's really simple to do in Adobe Premiere Pro, and it looks really cool for music videos or lots of different types of situations. So I've got a couple clips on the timeline, just some performance stock footage I found. And all you're going to want to do is take your clip and duplicate it. What I'm going to do to duplicate it is just the easy shortcut holding option and dragging it upward onto video track 2. Uh, you can also just copy and paste it or drag it back onto the timeline. And what I'm going to do for this second clip is right click and go to speed duration. And I want to increase the speed a ton so that the clip is just like a short little amount. So let's say just say like 2000% speed. And you see now we're just left with this little clip that's a lot shorter. If you're working with a, a much shorter or longer clip, then you can always just trim off any excess if you don't need it. So if I zoom in here and just trim off excess, what I'm basically wanting to do is place this clip in between a transition. So where one clip goes to the next, I'm just placing it in between this cut. Now, in order to make it a cool flash transition, we're first going to want to set this second video track layer on a blending mode of screen. You could also do color dodge or try out different ones, but screen is a good one to start with. And that will already give us a good start. So what this does, screen just kind of blends things together in a lightning way. And if I play that back, you'll see it creates this cool like flash echo that happens that does also create a cool transition. But in order to really get that flash and a little bit more of an echo effect, what we're gonna do is actually go to the effects panel and find the echo effect in the time section and I'm going to add that onto our little sped up transition clip. And then in the effects control panel, we can increase the number of echoes. So I can do one or two or three. And then I just want to lower the starting intensity a little bit so that it's not such a bright flash, maybe like 0.5 or something, or you can even play around with the decay and the intensity. And then you can also adjust the amount of echo time. So Right now, each of these echoes is only 0 0.033 seconds away from each other, but you can make that further apart or closer apart and you can see the objects in your video start to separate a little bit more based on time. So now with the echo effect, when I play that back, you should get this really cool sped up flash effect. And this can work in between clips, but it can also just work as an effect on a clip without even it being a transition. So in that way, we use it as, as a transition, but let's just say I did the same thing here. Let's speed this up like 3000% in this case. And I added the echo effect. Actually, in this case, I'll just copy and paste the same settings I had from over on the other one's effects control panel. And I'll set this to a screen blending mode. So in this clip, it's simply being used as a cool little flash effect so you can flash things to the beat or whatever else you might want and in, it's like a cool glitch or shake and it can also be used in between clips so if I put it at the end we see it's like a cool cut to black or whatever you want to do so that's a basic idea a lot of times when we think of transitions we think of applying fades in between clips and whatnot but in this cool way we can take clips and blend them on top of each other to create transitions out of clips themselves or flashes and things like that. So if you enjoyed this video, check out a bunch of my other effects and transitions tutorials in the playlists on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.